Right now, over the weekend, you may have seen a lot of calls on social media to defund police departments in the wake of the deaths of Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, and Breonna Taylor. So how would that work? We're connecting the dots. As protests against racism continue, there is a growing call to defund the police. But how would that work and what are activists really asking for? Let's connect the dots. The idea of defunding police is actually not new. Murmurs calling for funds to be pulled from police departments started to grow after protests against police brutality in Ferguson, Missouri in 2014. But it was treated as a radical idea and didn't gain much traction. Now, as the spotlight once again shines on racial inequality, calls to defund law enforcement are growing louder. So does the idea actually mean disbanding police? That kind of depends on who you ask. Some activists are calling for their budgets to be slashed and the money to be reallocated to social services. Others want all funding to be removed and departments dissolved. The idea being that communities of color often don't feel protected by police and rely more on community and community services to stay safe. But how likely is an idea that seems radical to so many will be seriously considered? Well, in Minneapolis, it's already being talked about. A city council member says they're talking about disbanding the existing police department and replacing it with a community-oriented public safety and outreach approach. And in some big cities, already reeling from budget issues because of the coronavirus pandemic, there is already talk of cutting, but not eliminating funding for police departments.